Rainbow Trout. One of the oldest aquaculture industries in North America, I'm not breaking any new ground by cooking this species. Now this is the cook portion. If you want to see the catch, hit that subscribe button down below to check it out after we make our smoked trout sandwich. First, we need to make our brine. Take a bowl of water and stir in equal parts salt and brown sugar until nicely dissolved. Drop in our boneless, skinless trout fillets and cover it up for an overnight soaking in the fridge. But our trout isn't going it alone. Slice up a jalapeno and prepare a brine of water, white vinegar, crushed garlic, brown sugar, and salt. Bring that to a boil and add in our jalapenos. Give it a quick stir, remove it from the heat for it to cool down off screen before picking out the spicy discs and placing them in a fancy little jar. We'll drop in a piece of garlic because we can and drown it all with that hot brine, making sure everything's covered without spilling everywhere. Close her up and it's ready to join our trout in the fridge. The next day, we're going to remove our trout from the brine, give it a quick rinse with fresh water, and pat it dry before returning it uncovered on a wire rack to air dry in the fridge. Now we get to play with some fire and bring our smoker up to around 180 degrees Fahrenheit. In goes our trout and while we wait, we'll begin our sandwich spread. Toss some garlic and shallots into a food processor, give them a quick chop, drop in mayo, plain soft goat cheese, celery salt, and some cayenne before giving it a nice blend. Now we'll add in our pimentos because yeah, this is a pimento cheese spread. Grate in some sharp cheddar, give it a good hand mixing, and it's finally time to build our sandwich. Of course, we buttered and toasted our buns before slathering on our cheese spread, put our beautiful trout to bed with a covering of our pickled jalapenos, and cap it off. The smoke flavor really shines through on this mild tasting trout meat, and the spiciness of our jalapenos is balanced perfectly with the creaminess of our cheese spread. So obviously, it's a great sandwich. Recipe in the description down below. And while you're down there, make sure you subscribe to see what kind of fish we're gonna cook up next. But until then, Y'all have a good one.